What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here, but if you're not, welcome back guys. So in this channel we focus on faith, fashion, lifestyle, and a little bit of luxury. But this month, I think we've been focusing on a lot of luxury. Um, and I thought it would be really cool for me to share you guys my kind of thoughts and review of my Zippy wallet as I've had it for about a good four months now. So if you guys are interested in learning about the Zippy wallet or Louis Vuitton wallets in general, then stay tuned. All right, you guys, let me lug this thing up, throw it over my shoulder because <laughs> it's so heavy um when i purchased this wallet i had no clue that this was going to be as heavy as it was but this thing is hefty this is a hefty baby right here and um i actually po purchased this right toward the middle like right in the end for the midwest when things were slightly opening up for us like in the end of june beginning of july um, and there weren't a lot of things available on the website. So apparently everybody was shopping Louis Vuitton during the pandemic because I couldn't find anything on that website. And I originally went in for another wallet that was just a little bit smaller than this, but same shape and very similar style. Um, and that was the Clements wallet, but they didn't have it. And so I decided to go ahead and get this one. And I do love this wallet. I want to preface this entire review by saying I do love this wallet. And I think that there's definitely a purpose and a place for it. Um, but it can be very heavy. It can be very large and oversized. And if you're not carrying a big purse all the time, then this can lose its use or value to you because you're forever going to have to be taking your items out of your wallet to fit in your smaller purses. Right now, I'm kind of on like a nano, a mini purse vibe. I'm loving my mini pochette. I'm carrying like my small SOGs around. And this thing does not fit. It Not even close, you guys. This thing is like double the size of um, most of my smaller items. So just something to consider if you guys are looking for a wallet that's going to fit in your smaller nano or mini purses. This is not going to be a good use for you. But if you do have um, items like the Neverfull, like I do, or like the Alma BB, I believe this fits in purses around that size. So let's get into this review. The first thing you guys will notice is that I got this wallet in the Damien Abin print. I'm not sure if it comes in monogram, but looking back now, I kind of wish I would have got it in monogram because I'm turning out to be a monogram girl. Um, but I do think the Damien Abin is still very nice. It's still very definitive. It's a pretty worn wallet and that I use this wallet every day because I carry a Nevi never full and so I'm always using this thing I'm all always opening and closing it and taking it with me and there's no wear and tear on this thing so far honestly I could probably sell this to someone and they would even question if it was ever used because it's it's holding up really really well so when you open this wallet it has compartments galore you guys look at this compartments galore um there are one two three four five six seven eight nine spaces for adding items to this wallet i'm going to go through each of them with you guys so the first two spaces are going to be the back flaps back here so before you get to any of the other items, there's just a large card slot here, but behind it there are flaps that you can put a lot of stuff in. My favorite thing to do is put like my business cards in here. I've got little gift cards in here. I like to just stick them back here because I'm not going to be accessing it pretty often. I don't really want to like wear the back of this out, but there are spaces on both sides and I just kind of tuck miscellaneous things back there. A lot of really good space. It's a very deep wallet, so I can get, you know, whatever I need to get in here. The second compartment or the second set of compartments are the card slots. So there are card slots on both sides. There are six card slots on both sides. I put two cards in each slot. And I know everyone is different and say like, okay, I don't want to put multiple card slots in my spaces, but I'm fine with it. I know that I'm not going to be like purchasing, um, new wallets often and therefore I'm not going to be like reselling this so I'm fine with putting card slots but I think it's up to you they are pretty like snug so you do kind of like have to wiggle and jiggle but I've been able to get two cards in here like no big deal the next set are these little spaces in between the card slots and the middle compartments and so the next set of two would be like here's the card slots here 
and then right down here there's this whole open space and this space is where a lot of people like to put their cell phones so if you've got an iPhone 7 or a 7 plus it will fit in here but you can't have the case on it so just for reference this is my iPhone 7 plus I'm just gonna sit it right here in this card slot and it's fine close this up and go now granted that's a little tight to me that's a little tight I don't know if I'd want to zip well it zips but oof. Oh, that makes me nervous. I don't know if I want to zip it like that, but as you guys can see, it does zip. It, you can tell that it's tight in here, but if I wanted to, I could get my phone in here. So if you guys are thinking about like, I want a big heavy duty wallet that can carry my phone, you might want to take a look at this because that is an option. Now, granted, I do have two cards in each card slot and I also have change in this little zipper. So that could kind of change things if I didn't have that in there, but it's still very, very spacious to be able to fit an iPhone 7 Plus in there. So the next space after that are these two little inserts. So there are two of them. One has a zipper, and in this little zipper, I just keep my change in it, as you guys can see. Normally, I try not to keep much change in here because I don't want it getting bulky, but I do have change in it right now. And then the other compartment next to them is like a little dollar slot or a check slot I don't carry checks so I'm not totally sure if this fit checks but if it doesn't I'm sure you can fit it right here but this is like a little open area normally I just stick my bills in here but two very nice areas very slim compartment here for whatever you want and it does conceal it pretty well and hold it very nicely and then this compartment here which has um, a zipper and normally people use for change and then the last space is the middle compartment which is between both of these so between the the little slim spot here for bills and this slim spot for a change, then there's another spot here. And I've also heard people say that they slide their phone right in there too. So if you guys want to see how that looks, there it is. There's my phone. And closes up. This is a pretty, a pretty, pretty big heavy duty wallet. So if you guys are in the market for an SLG or a wallet in general that you can fit your entire life in, I think this would be a really, really, really great option. This goes in my never full fairly easy. I think it's very beautiful. The hardware on it is really nice. On the hardware of mine, it says Louis Vuitton in like a little circle shape which I think is adorable and it's a pretty decent size. And then the zipper, of course, is also very nice. Like it's a very smooth, silky zipper. Um, if you've never purchased a Louis Vuitton item or you have, then you kind of have, have heard the rumors of how perfect and just smooth the zippers glide. And it's definitely like this on my Zippy wallet. My Zippy is made in Spain. I haven't had any problems with the quality um, or the production. I've just thought the world of this thing and it's absolutely amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of my Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. If you guys are in the market for it, I definitely do think it is a great piece for somebody who likes to have a larger wallet. Um, and I also think it's just such nice quality. I love carrying this thing on the go. And to be honest, sometimes I carry it as like a little clutch. <laughs> Sometimes if I want to do this and like my phone just like slide it in there and I want to go with something small I carry it just like this under my arm and you know It's still like a very nice piece that holds a lot of things. So hopefully you guys have found this review useful Let me know by subscribing you guys and also comment down below if you have the wallet or if you're interested in it as well And don't forget to rate comment and subscribe as always and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless